Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back another day with an unboxing. Here we have the Air Jordan Gratitude. And you have seen a bunch of videos of these shoes. There have been two pre-drops and uh, I missed them both. And at first I didn't, I don't have any need for them, not at all. Uh, and about the Air Jordan 11, it's a comfortable shoe, it's a good looking shoe, it's a shoe with very cool story, both NBA story and hype sneaker world story. But I have the Concords, so I'm, I'm happy with them. But I got them and they got me. So the reason why I got them was mostly because of Nike's sale pitch. Uh, what I liked about them was that the upper part is leather, really soft leather actually. Really nice leather. And this is Nike's way of saying, because they're called gratitude. And they say, thank you. I'm, I'm, I think they're supposed to say thank you everywhere. Is that supposed to be thank you? Yeah, but I know from other videos that they are supposed to say thank you. And this is Nike's way of saying thank you for buying the same shoes over and over again. And yes, I'm one of those people. And I actually don't like that people call these the, oh, the carbon fiber is also gold colored. That was nice. Uh, I actually don't like that people call them the DMPs. Uh, first of all, the DMP is from Defining Moment Pack. Two shoes. So it was the Air Jordan 6 and it was the 11. And instead of the black and red sixes we had gold instead of the red part and with the concords that i'm trying to find we had the gold jump man instead of the black one i'm going to show you my other uh, 11s because i'm i'm pretty boring with my 11s i just uh, noticed i was hoping for the uh, white ones columbia white ones I think we, we call them pure money. I don't know, but the white one, the completely white Air, Air Jordan 11. Uh, because I missed out on those when they got dropped because one of the reasons that I don't like 11s, well, of course, because of the creasing, they look really ugly, kind of fast, but the hype with the 11s, is the negative part of the sneaker world. And the hype of the breads, this must have been at least 10 years ago. That really got me tired of the 11s. What was my point? So yeah, the 11s that I have are very rarely used. And the 11s that I have more or less look the same. So here we have the Concords, and yeah, now I remember the point. So the Concords uh, is a very celebrated shoe. The DMP ones, the funny moment ones, uh, were like this, but with the gold jumpman instead. And why I did not buy those shoes or that pack because. First of all, uh, the the black infra 
the sixes in the defining moment pack. I don't like them. Uh, they were released a couple of years ago again. No, oh, I, I, I didn't care about them. But one thing that, they, that really irritated me was that the jump man on the defining moment elements are in the wrong way. It looks really weird. Now we have it in the right way again. So, Concords dropped first 1995. Yeah. And 2006, we got the DMP. That was a celebration of the Concords. And now in 2023, we got the gratitude ones. That is sort of a tribute to the DMP. So everything is a sample of a sample. The first ones, the DMP ones that I don't have, and then we have this one. So there is no reason to call these the DMP. And another difference, uh, except from the right way, facing Jumpman is that the uh, pattern letter cut is higher on, the, on these than on the DMPs. I haven't even thought of this, how it looks on the Concords ones, but I think they are just, yeah, it's the high cut on the Concord one, ones as well. But here you see the material we usually have on top of the 11s, and here we have the very soft letter so um, this is nike's way of saying thank you to us sneakerheads and i would like to say that if this is your first air jordan 11 this is a really good start this is a really good one so if you're only going to have one pair of 11s uh, in your collection or whatever if you're going to use them whatever this is a really good shoe. So when Nike say thank you sneakerheads, thank you old men buying the same shoes over and over again, I have to be thankful. And when Nike care to put nice leather on a shoe, I have to show that I support that with buying the shoes. Yeah, that sounds good in my head at least. I was hoping, I, I, I haven't thought of this before, I was hoping on a clear sole instead of this sort of beige thing. But I really like the gold carbon. The leather is really soft, really nice. The metallic gold jumping is cool. And we have the 23 in the heel instead of the 45 doesn't we got some leather smell to it so yeah a good looking shoe that i will probably use once so let me show you my other 11s first of all we got these that looks the same and then we got these that looks the same red jump man blue jump man and then we got these that looks the same just different years and, and I must admit, for a guy that sort of don't like the Air Jordan 11, uh, that like them because they are comfortable, but don't use them because of the hype and because of, I really hate when the pattern leather creases. Isn't it really stupid to have shoes that looks more or less the same? I will say it is. So uh, those six pairs I showed you more or less look like three different kind of pairs. But now I have them. They are nice. And uh, thank you for saying thank you. I think that's it. I would recommend the uh, Air Jordan 11 because it's a comfortable shoe. It's a cool looking shoe. Uh, I had a pair on me the other day, and the adults were really, oh, they look really good. 
And I remember when they got dropped in 1995, I was about 12, 13 years old, absolutely a sneakerhead already. And I remember thinking that, oh, this is a pair of shoes that my father will approve or like because of the patent leather. So I'm going to start to like the Joan Levin a little bit more, I think. The leather is really nice. The gold is nice. The high cut of the patent leather is nice. It feels a little bit thinner than usual, actually. Um, the sole couldn't been clear or icy blue. This um, beige, sand beige sole, ah, I don't like it. I liked the 11s that dropped recently for women that had a pink sole and dark brown patent leather. I like those, but they didn't got uh, men's sizes. This is it. Uh, kind of expensive, but that's the thing today. And I sort of miss the pull-out boxes because the Air Jordan 11s before always had a more luxurious box. Pull-out box with the plastic folding. And do we even have the... No, we don't. We don't have the shoe inlets. We don't. Let me show you another one. All 11s before always got these in plastic, matching with the shoes. Always. So we don't have that anymore with a luxurious pair of Air Jordan 11. That's kind of bad. So cheaper box, that is sort of okay because I throw away the box anyway. But... Uh, the shoe shape holder that I more or less don't need. We should have gone, we should have had that. The laces seems a bit longer, softer. Yeah, I could have done without them. Um, but yeah, sort of feels weird. It's, it's sort of like if somebody says, hey, I did this in your honor. And I would say, no, thank you, I'm good. Or if they say, hey, I did this in your honor. And I say, you used to be thankful and polite. Oh, thank you, that was nice. And then they say, hey, but it cost me this much, so you need to pay me this much. Well, uh, all right then. That's about it. Air Jordan 11, gratitude. Thank you. And... I may sound negative because I'm an old man with a bunch of shoes, but if you are looking to buy your first pair of Air Jordan 11, this is going to be a great one. And I highly recommend them because it's a very comfortable shoe, it's a good looking shoe, and with this leather, amazing. And the Air Jordan 11 is always going to be a really cool shoe. So, oh, the, the letter was actually really nice. Really, really nice. So, if you don't have a bunch of shoes, if you don't already have the Concords, uh, and you need, if you like the Air Jordan 11, you like the way it looks, go get them. That's it for this video. I'm a bit late. There are a hundreds literally a hundreds of videos of these shoes already uh, i have them i'm gonna put them in a box somewhere i don't even know when i'm going to use them but i like them i like that i have them yeah see you in the next video use one more quick thing i forgot to say one thing that i thought was really weird uh, the whole thank you thing about this shoe i like that but the promotion i saw something that i really see nowadays that nike dropped a commercial a commercial video and in this commercial video there was a 
motocross transformer turning into the shoe. And then when Trophy Room uh, did PR picks uh, of the shoe, they also had a motocross uh, with the shoe. And I don't get that at all. What's the whole thing with motorcycle, motocross, and this basketball shoe? Explain that to me.